CBS 4 News is live tonight in Havana, Cuba. And that's a group of children singing for the Pope tonight at Cuba's most sacred place for Catholics, the Shrine of Our Lady of Charity. Good evening. I'm Rick Fulbaum in Havana. I'm Erica Sargent in the CBS 4 studios. And I'm Elliot Rodriguez. At least two times today, the Pope discreetly called attention to religious persecution in Cuba. In Olguin, he talked about how the church in Cuba works under, quote, difficult conditions. And while dedicating the shrine tonight in Santiago, Cuba, Pope Francis Pope prayed Pope. that the Virgin Mary would help make Cuba a place where people can worship as they please. More easily for Jesus Christ. He prayed quietly, but people have been wondering if the Pope will speak more loudly on the subject of human rights here in Cuba. They want him to speak more forcefully about the oppression of this regime. Father Federico Lombardi, the Vatican spokesman, said that the Pope has been addressing human rights discreetly, but people wish that he wouldn't be so discreet. Elizardo Sanchez is one of the island's most vocal human rights advocates, and I met with him tonight at his home. Sanchez is surprisingly outspoken for a man who once spent nearly a decade in jail. On the walls of his home in Havana's Miramar neighborhood are pictures of him with Jimmy Carter and Ted Kennedy. He shows me a map displaying the locations of Cuban prisons before the revolution and after. He says Cuba has the worst human rights record in the Western Hemisphere. What about normalization? I ask if better ties between the U.S. and Cuba will help. Al gobierno de Cuba no le interesa tener relaciones normales. He says he doesn't even think the Cuban government wants normalization. And he says the visit of Pope Francis to the island has only led to more arrests, about 100 here in Havana, thousands, he says, all over the country. Y una gran capacidad de intimidación. But he says the government's true power comes not from locking people up, but through intimidation. Aren't you scared, I ask? Sí, tengo miedo. Yes, he says, I'm afraid. I've been afraid for 48 years. As for Pope Francis, he says the Pope's a careful man with goodwill, but that even goodwill is not enough to bring change. As for South Florida's exile community, Sanchez says he understands why so many won't return, but he says the exile community needs continued support as they fight on the outside while he and so many others fight from within. And Sanchez says he is not alone in his fight. He says where there used to be about a dozen pro-democracy activist voices here on the island, now there are thousands. Back to you.